Hello internet, I am back and today we are going to do a simple CRUD application. Like I said in the last session, we are going to generate this CRUD application using the G module. First let's navigate to the G module, index.php r equals g. Now we are in the, let's enter the password. Okay, now we are going to generate a CRUD application. CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete. So what this application, uh, this will generate a form where we can create uh, and insert data to the database table, the users table in this, in this, in this database. Demo and the users table. Okay. So the CRUD uh, generator needs the model class. Uh, we have already created the model users model right here it's there you go. this is the users model so let's enter the users model to the G module users now as you can see when uh, this menu I mean we are creating a CRUD application the CRUD generator will create a mm, controller users controller as well and it will create a bunch of views views file as well we will get into that when we have after we have generated okay as you can see there's a users controller there's a form there's a search there's a view admin create index update and view okay let's generate and see what happens so we have successfully generated it so now let's go back and view the files that we have gotten uh, let me refresh the project Refresh. There is the refresh. Oh, there is the refresh. Okay. So now let's go to the users controller. Now, as you can see, a lot has been added to this controller. Okay. Now let's go to the application and see what has changed. Okay. Let's go to the users controller. Users and index. Mm, okay. Now this all of this has been generated through the CRUD generator okay let's create users click on create users first we have to log in let's log in through demo demo let's log in through admin admin first okay now we can add usernames mm, for example mm, tell me a name so it is Thomas. Okay, let's create. Okay, now it has been added to the data database table. Let's view the database table. Okay, it's pretty simple. So how are they doing this? Let's view this in detail. Uh, firstly, what happens is we have uh, this action create gets called. As you can see the users is the controller name and the create is the name of the action so this when we when we type in this URL it calls this function action create let's clarify that let's die here and check you are in the create function let's refresh okay you are in the create function okay now we know uh, that you are calls this function okay firstly in this function we can see that use there is a model of ob object is created from the users class users class is this model this active records class that we use that we generated next we are they are, they are going to check whether whether this form has been submitted this form has been job submitted okay So if it's not been submitted, they are going to render the create view file. Okay, where is the create view file? As I said, we are in the users controller. So there has to be a folder users named users. As I said, there here is the users folder. And in this they are going to they are going to render the create file. What is the create file? This is the create file. Okay. So this uh, this is the view file that is being shown here let's change this heading first create users to create users uh, create 
fuses and do stuff. Okay. Now we know that's, that this create view file is being loaded. Now there is this another function, a render partial function, which 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 again renders another file from this. This file is the un this file is the underscore form file. Let's take a look at that. Now, this is a, this is a form that is being generated. G what G does is G goes to the database table that we have created and we, it recognizes the columns that we have created the username and the password columns. That's why they have put in two input fields for those two columns. Okay. And as you can see, this form, this active form needs an object, a model object. This model object has been passed to this, this form through this. Here again, like we did, like we did in the last time, they are passing it in a, an array. Okay. I will talk to you about the differences of render and render partial. Uh, when we are rendering, there are something called layout files. These are the layout files, main.php and the column 1 and column 2 are layout files. I will explain about those later and what render partial does is uh, when, ren when we render, in here when we render, uh, we just don't render this file. We we just don't render the create file we first renders the layout files and within those layer after that after after rendering those layout files we render we put in the create.php file render partial works in a different way render partial we don't we don't render the layout files we are just inputting only the form okay for example i can show you what the layout files does let me change this to render this render to render partial and see what happens as you can see all the layout files has been is not rendered now that's what render partial does okay. now let's change this back okay now now let's here's the form and here's the submit button as well now when we click on this submit button this submits to this create action create itself and it checks whether the post users has been submitted yes it's been set now what it does is model attributes what this does is each model the user's model in this case has its own attributes let's take a look at those attributes um, here are the attributes username and the password so what they are doing is they are assigning the values of this form to this attributes models attributes so the username and the password and then they uh, he has a function called save which inserts the data into the database record and then it redirects to a views file again I'll, I'll add another name uh, is and as you can see the username is Henry and password here as you can see this is another view file so this gets direct to another views file the views file is also in the users directory right there okay pretty simple now that is the create functionality okay now we can change actually we can change since let's go back to the create users now since this is a password field we do not want to enter the same as uh, same as the user input we j we want to do we want to encrypt this in md5 and insert it to the database table so first we need to change this after the attributes model password equals dollar underscore post in the users form the password attribute let's let me first dive this and just show you that the when the form submits this is the value we get okay okay 
now what we need to do is let's sorry now let's uh, first put this to another password variable password equals to this now we want to encrypt this password we'll encrypt it by the use of md5 function and we'll insert the password okay now after doing that let me just put this in okay now let's insert again and check what happens As you can see this is encrypted and it's been saved as an encrypted value now it's pretty now uh, you can see each and every value that you submit from this form can be changed or we can remove uh, we can add some more other elements as well so that's the create action create you better play around with this and find what is uh, what you can do with it uh, next uh, we'll do an uh, action update there's an action update action delete and action index and action admin those are the four main actions that we have in a CRUD application so I'll speak about those later so uh, in this lesson we have covered how to insert data into a database table so actually it's for example if you want to register students it starts with the database table in me it always starts with the database table first create the your users user registration table naming users then we create a model uh, the users the table model from the table model we can create a CRUD application and the CRUD application will give you this form it will automatically detect the columns that you want and create this create that form automatically okay okay i think that's enough for this lesson uh, in the next lesson we'll talk more about the card application how the update function works how the views work and how we can change all this how the manage users work so we'll talk about that in the next episode so stay tuned uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching have a good day bye